Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I'm going to share an announcement that Facebook and ManyChat made of a new feature that just came out called Recurring Messages. Hello, I am Smarty with the Pro Edge Marketing Team, and I'm so glad you're here. Messages is something that has been restrictive for all chatbotters over the last couple of years. Facebook in implemented a 24-hour rule that basically stated that once a person engages with the chatbot, the chatbot only has 24 hours to interact with that person. If they come back six months later and interact with the bot again, it opens up the 24-hour rule again. But we only had that one day of interaction. Now, there was a couple exceptions. So uh, ManyChat and Facebook uh, added what's called message tags. So this was ideal for uh, industries like maybe the entertainment industry. Somebody orders concert tickets. So they interact with the bot, they order the concert tickets, and then uh, the person that built the bot can send out messages using a message tag, in this case, an event reminder, uh, where they can remind the person a couple days before the event that it's about to start. Ideal for event management. Now, as a realtor, that really didn't apply to us, except for uh, one of the videos on my channel, I talked about open houses, and uh, somebody can pre-register for an open house on an ad. You can check out that video here on my channel. And they may do it on a Monday and the open house is Saturday. Um, after that 24 hour rule, you could have event reminders of the open house coming up that weekend so they get nudged to make sure that they do show up. There's also what's called sponsored messages and these are ads. This is one thing I use all the time and a lot of my videos on the channel, I talk about social media marketing and tying that to the chatbot. So with a sponsored message, you can tie it with a paid ad and get that message out. And then finally, they had what's called one-time notices. Um, and this would be ideal for like a retailer sending somebody a one-time notice uh, a couple days after they made a purchase uh, that the product is shipping. Um, so that would be another uh, exception to the 24-hour rule. But I'm super excited that now recurring messages are here. And as a realtor, and this channel is all focused around realtors and chatbotters, although chatbots work across all industries, I'm glad to help you in any way. Um, the recurring messages, if you think out of the box as a realtor, we can now have recurring messages going out for things like a market report or a list of homes daily, sending them a daily list of homes or weekly list of homes. In the new capability, uh, you can uh, set up recurring messages as daily, weekly, or monthly. If you think of monthly, that could be a market report every month. Or if you have a newsletter, they can subscribe and get an updated newsletter from you each and every month. Now, in the rules, and you'll see that when I go into ManyChat, uh, the op they will require an opt-in. And I'm going to show you how to set up that opt-in. And the opt-in will only last a certain amount of time. And that'll be based on if it's a daily, weekly, or monthly. So you need to be aware of that. And I'm going to show you a trick, a ninja trick here, where you can automatically set up the chatbot to monitor the date. And then if uh, we send out a, a recurring reminder and it's inside or getting close to the end of the opt-in, we can send another message and say, hey, you're, you're close to that opt-in. Do you want to keep these uh, coming to you? Um, so I'll show you exactly how to do that inside of ManyChat. So now let's dive into ManyChat and let me show you this powerful feature of recurring messages. Okay, over here on ManyChat, I'm going to show you how to set up the notification uh, templates and then we'll create flows to have people opt in. And finally, we'll broadcast that flow out to all our buyers and sellers that have opted in for that information. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is inside of ManyChat, you'll go to settings and come here to Messenger. And in Messenger, you'll see this new button here called Message uh, uh, or Manage Notification Topics. So go ahead and click it. And if I just go back for a second, there is a learn more. Uh, you can go to uh, ManyChat's website and read all about the messages and the rules. Um, but I'm just gonna dive right in and show you how it works. So I don't have any topics right now. What I'm gonna do is create my first topic. So in here, the first topic I may do is uh, Smarties monthly newsletter. Like that. And then over here, I'll put in the frequency. So this is gonna be a monthly report. There's a description field. Uh, it's not required, but you can put a description in. So now I have my first topic. As realtors, you think outside the box, that may be like a hot, list of homes 
So you want those buyers coming back for more. Um, you could have that, and that may be a daily or weekly list. I'll do a weekly. And then finally, you may wanna do a market report. Uh, so you have a market report as a realtor that you wanna to send to homeowners uh, on a monthly basis so they can evaluate their home values and such. So you'll set up these as different um, frequencies. Again, in the new features, you could do daily, weekly, or monthly. And then it'll show you how many contacts have actually registered for those right here. So you can keep track of how many people you're communicating with. So now let's go in and let me show you how to do the setup. So here in my Pro Edge package here, um, I'll just create a, a simple flow. I'll create new flow. And uh, I'll, I'll say start from scratch. I'll call this the Pro Edge uh, Recurring Opt-in. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And the, what I'm gonna do, the very first step is the message. So we're gonna send a message in the opt-in. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you here is how to actually construct a flow that has the opt-in requirements. Uh, now note, if you are a chatbotter and you have other flows, one for buyers, renters, sellers, uh, in my package in ProEdge, I have like rent to own, I have dream home finder, become a cash buyer, um, seller flows like uh, uh, fix and sell and trade up programs for the homeowners. Um, inside those flows, you could have a, a question for them at the end of those flows and say, by the way, would you like to uh, subscribe to my newsletter? Or a buyer going through their buyer flow saying, hey, um, I can send you a hot list of homes. Would you like that delivered to you? And then they opt in and now you can start sending them a list of homes through the messenger platform. So get creative as a realtor. You can decide where you want to put these opt-ins uh, and then get them signed up for your messaging. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit uh, send message and I'll give them the first opt-in. So in here I'll say first name. Um, uh, would you like to receive my monthly newsletter? Or I'll say, in this case, I'll do like a market report right here. Uh, and then down here, um, I'll come down, you'll see that there's a brand new action step inside the message box. So you have messages and then I go through this, I have a basic uh, uh, video on my channel going through all these capabilities. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that bell, that, that'll be coming out next week. Uh, but in this case, I'll focus only on the notification request. So I hit the notification request and now what you have here is your topics. So if I'm gonna create a market report opt-in, I would click it here. And then you do have the ability to in include an image. So I'll go out to my desk and select the image I have for the Smarties newsletter or market report. So in this case, Smarties monthly market report. You can create these inside of Canva. It's very easy to make these and uh, it makes it a lot more engaged. So I'll say subscribe. To my monthly market report so I put a simple message there now Facebook will always show uh, this message down here I can't edit that this is saying you're about to receive up to 12 you know next 12 months this message so if they do opt in they will get that now here's where one of my ninja tricks comes in so what you're gonna do is when they click on you know get you know subscribe to the monthly report I'm gonna create an action step here and the action step what I want to do is I want to set a custom field so in the custom field, you wanna create a custom field to store the recurring, uh, the recurring uh, message. So I have a recurring uh, notice uh, field uh, in my chatbot. And you wanna make sure that that is set. If you create custom fields here, when you create a custom field, you have the option to say is it a text field, a number field, a date time. Make sure in the Ninja Trick that you set this as a date time field. Uh, now what I could do is I'm gonna set it based on a date of an action. So as immediately as soon as they subscribe, I'm gonna take that date and time, and then what I have the ability to do in many chat is create what's called an offset. So because this is a monthly uh, newsletter or market report, 
uh, Facebook will allow me to send this out up to 12 times. So if I think of a 12 month calendar, I want to start monitoring when they get close to that 12th month. So the next report I send them, I can send them another message to say, hey, by the way, your, your subscription's about to end. Would you like to re-opt in for more newsletters? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say in a 365 day, I may set it offset by 350 days. So in the 350 days here, um, it's going to store today's date plus 350 will be what gets stored in that custom field. And then I can use it for whatever I want downstream and conditions. And I'll show you how I do that. So the next thing I'll just say, uh, thanks, first name and give them a thank you. So we'll go in here, thank you, uh, look out for our next newsletter. And I'll do a little smiley face and I'm done. So that is the flow that's gonna do the opt-in. So again, it's an action step. Uh, you have uh, ability to have images and headlines. You can use my ninja trick about storing the date of the next recurrence. Uh, and then hit publish. Now to test this thing, you don't wanna use the preview. And a lot of my videos on the channel I show in chatbot marketing, how you can create uh, flows and then hit preview. Uh, and that'll go out to Messenger. You don't wanna use that method because uh, it won't, it, it, that's more of a, a, a temporary testing mode. You actually wanna run this flow to opt yourself in as a test. So what I can do is uh, create a trigger. Now I can have a QR code I scan, a, UR, a URL, uh, or simply a keyword. So uh, in keywords, I'll say uh, report is the keyword and I'll hit, say, hit create. So now what I'll do just to show you the test, if I come back to my Facebook page and now I'm on my messenger, if I type in the word report right here, you'll see that the flow will kick off because uh, keywords can trick off a, a tri uh, trigger a flow in many chat. Would you like to opt in for my monthly report? And you'll see that I have the image, uh, my description, and then they say get monthly message. And now they've opted in. Uh, Facebook will tell them, you know, in this case, thanks John, look out for our next newsletter. Uh, Facebook will throw up this message here saying you can manage your own subscription. So if they click on this, they can stop the message, mute or something wrong. Um, so they do have control of the message that's coming out uh, when they do subscribe to these messages. So now let me hop over to ManyChat and let me show you how to deliver the actual market report. So if I come back over to flows and I create a new flow here and I'll start from scratch. In this case, I'll call it the Pro Edge Market Report. So I'll create a simple flow right here and we'll uh, start with a message. So I can say, hey, first name. Now, one of the things you're gonna to wanna to do for this flow, because this is going out of the 24 hour window, is see up top where it says send within, you wanna make sure that this is set to send outside the 24 hour window. So that way Facebook knows that this is a recurring message and it will be out of the 24 hour window and it will deliver that message. Now you also note that this is a pro version. So uh, if you're in chatbot marketing with ManyChat, they have a free account and a pro account. I highly suggest as a realtor, you upgrade to pro. Uh, if you're not signed up for ManyChat, I have a link below here in the description. You can access ManyChat uh, and I have a, a, a promo. I can give you a digital business card and some other things that I'll add with that subscription. So um, uh, consider going to pro because uh, you have all these powerful features here. So I could say, hey, first name, uh, and I'll give their name here. Here is my monthly market report. And I may use a little finger for the down. And then the button here, I would send them to a website. So um, I can have any, you know, www.smarty.com slash market report. Now, if you're using KB Core, this could be a short code that you get from the market report as a squeeze page inside of KB Core. Check out my videos on the channel. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because I have some great videos here for realtors. But one of my videos is how to set up squeeze pages in KB Core. And then I can use these squeeze pages inside the chatbot so I can send them to a home listing 
a list of homes in my dream finder, uh, one of my, my videos here, uh, or a market report. So take advantage of those and hit OK. So again, on the, uh, on the button, you want to name the buttons here. So uh, I like to always use the little uh, globe so they know they're going to the internet. And then I'll say access report now, right? So now they'll, they'll be able to uh, see that. So if I come over here, um, uh, oh, when, uh, one thing I, you'll notice here, when I said uh, the 24 hour, uh, Facebook does have a, a requirement, you have to tell them the reason. So I'm gonna say it's the market report is the reason. So ManyChat didn't let me publish this unless I had that set. So again, make sure that it's sent outside the 24 hour and then you tape the reason is the, is the recurring report that you're sending out and then everything's good in the Facebook world. So again, um, if I wanted to uh, test this out, what I'm gonna show next is I could either um, add this to a, 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 a email and have them hit a link. I could have a QR code to access it. But what I like to do is broadcast. So I could say broadcast from a flow and I'm gonna send this monthly report out. So each and every month I may have a, a, a market report I create or a newsletter and then I'm gonna just broadcast it to all my buyers and sellers that subscribe to this message. I'll hit next and down here it'll be a promotion or message tag ignored and then the condition uh, if you come down here you'll say notification topic is available and it's going to say uh, it'll list out all your different weeklies and monthlies and I'll say I want the market report where the market report is is there now you'll notice only one person subscribed and that was me now down below, you can send this out later, schedule a date and time or schedule it now. Sometimes I'll set these up in the middle of the night and I'll just schedule them to go out at noon the next day. Uh, I, I, I get up early or, or so forth or late, work late at night. And then I'll go ahead and hit send. So that broadcast just went out. So if I come back over to Messenger um, uh, down here, you'll see that it already sent out. Hey, here's my monthly report. And then I have my access report button right here. So I hope you like this video. This is a powerful new capability inside of Facebook and ManyChat. Take advantage of it as a realtor and have another channel to communicate to these buyers and sellers. If you haven't already, I appreciate if you subscribe, smash that like button, and if you have any comments, let me know down below. I am here to support you to make this the best decade ever. Enjoy.